No matter how bad you think a day is, just remember what is often forgot. You're alive. Need more? No problem. You are on a one-of-a-kind planet floating in a galaxy which is just a mere speck in an overarching universe which we know essentially nothing about. Keep going. On this planet, which somehow began to sustain life billions of years ago, you, yes you, are its most intelligent advanced life form that sits at the top of the food chain. Your race is so advanced that you can seamlessly talk to whomever you'd want with a click or tap of a button. You can travel to once foreign lands in a matter of hours. You have unlimited resources at the tips of your fingertips to execute on whatever you can imagine. Actually doing it is a whole different story. Thus, today and every day is a fucking awesome day. Guys, gals, you wonderful creatures of planet Earth, welcome back to a, another week of How to Health. My name is Kevin. I run leftandbalance.com where we take aim at all things health and do it in a way that will make you ask, is this whole thing a joke? Trust me, it's not, but I'm only doing my job if you think about it a little bit. Today, we are going to run through my field guide on how to have a day every day. And I just have to say up front, this whole formula to optimize performance throughout the day really came about in the hopes of solving one problem. And that was my Sunday night scaries. And not the scaries of like dreading Monday. I actually like Mondays. The scaries were all about struggling to go to sleep Sunday night. Because just like probably many of you, Monday through Thursday, I would stay on a good routine. And then once Friday, Saturday, Sunday hit, my whole routine would get scrambled, and by the time I wanted to get some rest Sunday night to go get after it on Monday, I'd be just sitting in my bed, eyes wide open. So I figured there's got to be a better way. Why not put a little routine to paper on how to optimize every damn day and just be consistent? So here we're going to go through six tips to have a day every single day and hopefully start trying to live out every day to you know our true potential. So enough talking, let's get into it. Number one, and we're gonna start right where you just thought we were gonna start, and that is to go to sleep and wake up at the same time every single day. This is a tough one, but it is a big one and it makes such a difference. Your body and all of its complex processes run on an internal clock. This clock is called your circadian rhythm and it is basically your sleep-wake cycle for all the different processes that happen throughout the day. These rhythms are controlled by the more ancient part of our brain and are sensitive to the different environments that we put ourselves in. And throughout the day and night, these signals interpreted by our brain send information throughout the body to turn certain biological processes up, such as hormone and gene expression, or turn things down, depending on what it's consuming from the environment. And as a byproduct, you might feel wide awake or helplessly tired because of it. And you want a little bit of both. You want to be awake because that's what life's all about. But you want to also sleep because sleep is awesomely refreshing and makes our time awake so much more enjoyable. So it's a little bit of a balancing act. So like I said, these rhythms have specific triggers, two of them being light and darkness. When light traverses our eyes and hits the back of the brain, it signals alertness throughout the body and darkness does the exact opposite. And these rhythms, when in sync, help the body operate at an optimal level, making us run like a well-oiled business. But weekly disruptions, like living a weekend warrior life, like I explained before, can place you in a very undesirable spot. Trust me, I know. And I'm not telling you to not go enjoy your hard-earned weekend by staying out a little later and partaking in a few cocktails. By all means, go get after it. What I am saying is get your ass up the same time the next morning. Keep that wake up time consistent. Keep your clock in tune. Trust me, you will be happy you did. And by the way, this also doesn't mean skimping out on sleep. You should be prioritizing sleep. We took aim at sleep in a whole nother video. Sleep is super important. You have to prioritize it. Keep the wake up time and bedtime as consistent as possible every day of the week. Number two, waking up every day and saying, 
Today is gonna be a fucking awesome day. Yeah, I know, you get it. Be positive, think positively. No, I want you to get up and literally say, today is gonna be a fucking awesome day. Every morning, with your mouth. Because it will be. No matter how bad you think a day is, just remember what is often forgot, you're alive. Need more? No problem. You are on a one-of-a-kind planet floating in a galaxy, which is just a mere speck in an overarching universe, which we know essentially nothing about. Keep going. On this planet, which somehow began to sustain life billions of years ago, you, yes you, are its most intelligent, advanced life form that sits at the top of the food chain. Your race is so advanced that you can seamlessly talk to whomever you'd want with a click or tap of a button. You can travel to once foreign lands in a matter of hours. You have unlimited resources at the tips of your fingertips to execute on whatever you can imagine. Actually doing it is a whole different story. Thus, today and every day is a fucking awesome day. So remind yourself out loud every morning. Next, sticking with the morning still, number three, build a 15 minute routine. That's right, start a little ritual that you complete each morning. Before anything else, you make sure you get this 15 minute routine done. So what's a sample routine look like? I am so glad that you asked. Here's a little bit of what mine looks like. First off, get up. When the alarm sounds, you are up. 15 minutes broken into five minute snooze intervals isn't gonna do shit. It's only gonna make you feel more groggy and worse when you finally do get up. So get up right away. Next, get sipping. And I should do my San Pellegrino commercial, but it's all the way in the fridge. It's such a long walk. Anyhow, seven hours, hopefully, of sleep without any fluid means it is time to down a glass of some high quality H2O. Bobby. And that's what I call high quality H2O. I always keep a full glass right next to my bed on my night table to be able to consume right as I get up out of bed. And after hydration is out of the way and you go take care of what you need to take care of in the bathroom, it's time to get the blood flowing a little bit. This doesn't mean get up and go to the gym and get a full workout in. This means five, 10 minutes of yoga or stretching. And even going and taking a little walk with the dog does a whole lot of good. Movement increases your heart rate. It gets the blood flowing. It gets your lymph moving, which is one of the main systems that detoxifies your body. And if you just get that done, your water and your movement in every morning, you will be rocking and rolling for the day. But if you wanna take your 15 minute ritual to the next level, add some natural light into the equation. As you heard in tip number one, our body operates on a lot of environmental signals. One of that is being sunlight. So sunlight in the morning starts the downstream signaling through our body that it is morning, it is daytime, it is time to get up. Five to 10 minutes out in the sunlight in the morning can do a world of wonders. The more skin showing, the better, so don't be shy. Finish off with another glass of water and there's a pretty good chance you'll find yourself awake and chipper, maybe even a born again morning person. Plus, you will not be dependent on that cup of joe bright and early in the morning. You will be feeling alert and energized without that caffeine fix. And I'm not saying don't drink caffeine because caffeine has a lot of benefits, but save it for a little later in the day. Caffeine has a place a couple of hours after you get up, not right when you get up. That's your morning routine. Customize it to you. Hopefully those are some tips that could get you thinking in the right direction. Next, we're heading to the office for number four, work to move at work. Many of us fall victim to a pretty dreadful work movement balance. We find ourselves spending five days a week posted up behind a computer screen at a desk for the majority of the day. And I have to say, you know, this is a little different than the hunter-gatherer lifestyle that our ancestors lived, you know, a few years back. The pace of technology has far exceeded the pace of evolution. We've been bombarded with digital everything, especially those of us who work in a traditional office environment. The days, the weeks, the months, the years just seem to float on by as we sit at our desk answering emails. I mean, if only Michael Scott came with every office, then activity wouldn't even be a problem. And since that unfortunately is not a reality, 
make some time to get up and get out each day. Aim for taking some sort of leisurely stroll at least once every hour. Pro tip, put it in your calendar because if it's not, you're gonna forget. I personally like to take my meetings walking whenever I can. If only the New York City streets would be a better host. It does kind of work because every time someone calls me and they hear I'm on the streets with the ambulance, sirens, loud noises, they get off the phone, which is, you know, it's good for everyone. Anyway, and in the times that you've succumbed to less than optimal nutrition throughout the day and are experiencing a nice 2 p.m. sugar crash, try this on for size. Sit straight up, deep breath in for four seconds. Hold for four seconds. Release through the nose for four seconds. Repeat 20 times. You can do this nonchalantly in the middle of a meeting. No one will even notice. Just don't like huff and puff really loud. And you will be magically awoken. It's magic. Gotta tell you. When your day at the office is done, we move to number five. Or you could get number five done in the morning, whatever floats your boat. And that is Sweatin' It Out, AKA the best mood boosting prescription there is, AKA exercise. And this one can 100% vary by schedule and preference, but it should definitely be incorporated. 30 minutes or 2% of your day to sweat the most valuable asset that you have, you. We cover exercise in several other videos. You can check them out all in the links below, but this 2% of your day will make your body operate more efficiently, clean out toxins, reduce risk of disease, lower stress, increase your cardiovascular strength, make you feel awesome and sleep like a baby. 2%. And depending on how you structure the other 69% of the day that you're awake, your routine may vary a little bit. And that's totally cool. Me personally, I like to get my workout and movement done in the morning. I usually spend about an hour in the morning with a little strength training and then do some mobility and flexibility at night. That's just me. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but that works for me. Find something that works for you. The important thing is that you make time and prioritize it. Movement is literally medicine. Motion is literally lotion. Do it. You will feel better. You will operate better because of it. That being said, wherever you are in your fucking awesome life on this fucking awesome day, a 2% investment in your health for all the above listed benefits is a pretty damn good ROI. Make it important because if it's important, it gets done. And now let's bring this have a day feel guide full circle back to the bedroom where we want to hit the hay at the same time every day. Pick a seven to eight hour block that you can designate as dream time and stick to it. Keep to the schedule and you will be sleeping like Lou Pickles in its prime. Yes, you're gonna stay out late some night, most likely Fridays and Saturdays. Now the key to avoid those Sunday scaries is to get your ass out of bed the next morning on time. And don't sleep on sleep. It's critical for many reasons. It's the period where the brain filters out all those toxins that accumulate throughout the course of the day. Shorten it allows the toxins to build up like a dirty pile of laundry expanding past the boundaries of your hamper. I know, you can relate. Sleep is recommended for a reason, so do it. Use the list above as a field guide and make Lou Pickles proud and have a day.